Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a rational equation for a specific variable. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Solve m equals y minus 2 over x minus 3 for y. Now, I want to get y by itself, and this is a little tricky because we have three variables here, but the same principle still apply. Now one thing I want to note here is x. There's rules we want to state here and x cannot be a specific value. And that value is 3. Why is that? If we put 3 in for x, our denominator here becomes 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. And that's the only value for x that causes a denominator to be 0. And we can't divide by 0 and be undefined. So that's why we have a little note here, x cannot equal 3. Now from here we want to solve for y. So basically, y is here and a whole bunch of junk. Let's move everything over to the other side. So let's rewrite our problem here. m equals y minus 2 over an x minus a 3. To get rid of a number in the denominator here, I'm going to multiply both sides by that denominator. x minus 3, x minus 3. All right. What that does on the left hand or right hand side cancels out the x minus 3. That's what we wanted. We have a y minus 2 left over. On the left, if we distribute the m across, we can have it as mx minus 3m. Right? m times x, mx minus m times 3 is 3m. Now, same rules still apply. We have a 2 here, right? Or negative 2 on the right. If we add a 2 to both sides, we got to combine it to its like terms, and we get y by itself. All right, 2's cancel on the right. Well, mx minus 3m aren't like terms with 2. They're not like terms with each other either. So we have mx minus 3m, well, plus 2 here. So we can rewrite it to have y by itself. We have y equals, well, mx minus 3m plus 2. And there we have it. We have well, solved this rational equation with multiple variables to get y by itself, and we got y equals mx plus 3m plus 2. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a rational equation for a specific variable. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.